Happy Saturday everyone! Today is March 18 and we will be going to the Manila Pen Show so join me as I try to vlog! So I will just be sharing with you what's in my bag. I decided to use a crossbody so that I'm hands-free. I have an echo bag for extra goodies, a pack of wet wipes. I also have here my wallets and card holder so I strictly just use cash for the pen show just to manage my expenses i also have here a sample perfume so that you know i'll be fresh smelling fresh i also have a lipstick but i'll be wearing a face mask for the entire time so that's that that's also a lip oil just to keep my lips hydrated it is so hot the past few days so i have sunblock with me and some powder to keep my face presentable <laughs> at the pen show and then the front part uh, will just contain my cell phone as well as two pens that i am thinking of having serviced by the nibmeisters in the manila pen show so that's a sneak peek of the pens that i will have serviced and here we are at Starbucks. This is around lunchtime. In the morning, we just went to the pediatrician where we got immunization boosters for my daughter. So after that, we just went to power plant, had some lunch, and we're now at Starbucks for coffee. And my daughter over here will be showing her shot <laughs> her arm where she had her immunization and we're just playing memory game this is holiday inn in makati uh, which is the venue for the manila pen show for this year and it's just beside glorietta so i just parked um at park square one and then just crossed from Schumart makati or sm makati to glorietta so there's also an access from Glorietta to Holiday Inn. You just go up the fourth floor and you can cross um, going to the hotel. So it's quite a crowded Saturday afternoon as expected. And by this time, I already brought home my family um, so that I can have more time to myself during the pen show. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to sign up for any of the workshops or the talks. I just purely went to the show to look at <laughs> merchandise and talk to you know, some of the friends that I've met there and also friends who have been enabled and are now also into fountain pens. So this is the registration area so you can pay your entrance fee for one day or two days and you can also get your tote bag and stickers so this is the hangout room where pen friends can meet and enable each other some more <laughs> and you have there all the participating um, vendors there is a mix of both local and international vendors who are attending this year's pen show the registration booth or table is to your left where you can also get your raffle so they also have raffles for the duration of the pen show and then this part is a common area where you can you know meet your friends sit down relax there's also unlimited coffee and tea in the in the hotel so if you're undecided you can take a break get some coffee and then contemplate on your life choices <laughs> so there are two main halls or two big rooms for the vendors and here i am with the diamine manila pen show exclusive ink called suman so there was a fountain pen um, member who was able to bring a Manila Pen Show exclusive ink. So Diamine, I really love it and enjoy it for its well-behaved properties as well as beginner-friendly inks. And then I was just 
asking about um, the other diamine inks, but they were mostly shimmer, so <laughs> um, I was trying to avoid um, shimmer inks. Also, pens, I'm trying to avoid pens because I already have more than I can use. <laughs> so I was really looking forward to this pen show with collecting, you know, exclusive inks. And here we are at the pen gallery. So they are a Malaysia um, seller and they went to Manila for the weekend to join the craziness and the chaotic and, you know, fun atmosphere for the Manila Pen Show. So just a quick background, the last Manila Pen Show was, I think, 2019. And because of the lockdowns and the pandemic, we didn't have any pen shows until this year. So it was like revenge buying for a lot of fountain pen enthusiasts. And some were really taking advantage of these foreign sellers so that you can skip the shipping and the duties and customs and the waiting time. So you can actually look at their merchandise, take a look at it, see if it works for your collection, for your aesthetic, and all of that. So here I am just looking at batik uh, notebook holders as well as pen rolls and pen cases. So batik is something that's, you know, purely a heritage um, form of clothing for Malaysia. And we also have vendors here who sell vintage pens and they will let you try it out. And we have here a leather um, company. It's locally, it's a local company and they also sell bags and leather cases and holders and here i am at the troublemaker booth so they are a company from cebu and they flew into manila for the weekend as well and they have sample inks for their manila pen show exclusives so they also have swatches but unfortunately a lot of the inks that i wanted were already sold out so i hope troublemaker you know, does better planning and forecast which of their pens or which of their inks will be really in demand. There is another room on the other side of the event show, which housed all the Nibmeisters, the local uh, Nibmeisters. And we have here JP. And I've had a couple of pens uh, being serviced by him. And he's actually the one serviced or reground my Mont Blanc 144 to a right oblique grind. So we also have here a Nibmeister from Singapore. They flew him in and he also gave a talk on pen maintenance and cleaning. And they also have here some inks from Noodlers as well as Tomoe River paper, um, notepads, sheets, and all of that. There's also a leather crafter who specializes in pen cases. So here I am, fangirling, <laughs> meeting JP for the first time in person as all my communications with him were through messenger only. So I also received a pen that I had serviced a few weeks ago and yeah, just fangirled. <laughs> okay, here is the Filipino-made fountain pen called the Kasama and it's really fascinating to see a Filipino-made fountain pen. Unfortunately, I didn't have the funds to purchase one but I'm really liking their pen show exclusive <laughs> fountain pen. It's just really pricey. I think it was around 35,000 pesos. So it's this one. I have some friends who actually bit the bullet and bought it. And they have no regrets getting that pen. Maybe someday I will have the funds to purchase that kind of pen. And here is Pen Graphic. Uh, it's a local uh, shop or distributor of a lot of fountain pens and fountain pen inks. And their owner is actually a member of 
the Fountain Pen Network group in Facebook. And they were really selling their inks at a discounted rate. So it was really, you know, pushing everybody to get something. So I'll share with you in the next video my haul. All the items and the goodies that I got from the Manila Pen Show. So this one, this crowded area here is where all the Ferris wheel press inks are. And these are just some lovely, lovely shades. in the main hall next to where the coffee and tea stations are located we have here scribe who is a top selling distributor of a lot of fountain pen brands and inks uh, they have physical stores all over manila and they were also having promotions with some of their best selling brands like pelicans twisbees sailor pro gears and Kawekos, um, also inks, pens, and all of that, they were at the sale. And if you purchase a, an amount, then you get you know freebies as well. And then we have here a local shop also called Everything Calligraphy. They have a Lazada and Shopee store, and they sell a ton of inks and pens. And their owner, Jill, is actually the creator of Vinta Inks. So she also carries um, the Manila Pen Show exclusive Vinta Ink. And what I really like about um, their booth or their setup is that they have swatches of all the inks. So you don't have to worry or do research right then and there or Google the colors. They already have swatches. Of the inks that you want okay that's the manila pencil exclusive ink so pretty lavender and they have also promotions and discounts for inks and if you purchase a or if you've spent a certain amount you will get freebies and yeah basically you get a lot of freebies during those two days is a local leather artisan called leather library they have a facebook page and they're also very responsive um, if you message them through facebook and they mainly design pocket uh, passport holders notebook covers wallets and basically any small leather good and here i am just looking at all the notebook cases for a6 size so when they produce these leather covers there are no two covers that are alike because the leather that they use is of high quality and you know it depends on which cut you're getting it from how it was tanned how it was processed so there are no two notebook holders 
or notebook cases alike. So that's what I really love about it. It has a unique um, touch to it. And the owner was very nice. She was showing me how... Uh, she was showing me if a pet show can fit inside their notebook case. Um, yep, I'm completely sold. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video for my haul. Toyoka is a Japanese brand. And they mostly make pen cases made out of wood. They also do other peripherals like pen rests and pen trays. And for the Manila Pen Show, you can order online or do a pre-order, especially for those pen cases as they are quite costly. And yeah, these are just some of the pen cases. And the cabinets above, those are the ones that are pre-order. Everything else here, you can purchase on the spot. But of course, it is in limited quantity and limited colors. So as soon as you see a perfect one for you, just grab it. <laughs> and, or of course, you can go to, the, to Japan so that you will have better choices and you will have more time to think about what you want to include in your fountain pen collection but I guarantee you I tried out one of these and these are really well made it's made of it's made in Japan it's really good quality you can't go wrong with a Toyoka craft um, pen case or pen accessory so I know <laughs> I know I have friends who pre-ordered them and picked it up on the day and that was the only piece that they bought. Wow, such discipline. <laughs> Next is Stationer Extraordinaire, where they have a lot of Kawekos. There were a lot of pretty, like, special and limited editions, but I already have a lot of Kawekos in my collection, so just admiring them made my eyes and heart full. <laughs> and then we have here a Singapore based store called aesthetic bay and they were selling pilots and pelicans at a discount so of course their prices are in singapore dollars but they give you the discount and then they charge you through paypal so you can do a transfer through paypal and then just pay the corresponding peso so a lot of these pens are good deals actually because like, for example, these pelicans were at 30% off, and then the pilot pens were at 35% discount. So it's a really good deal, especially if you want to buy these precious pens, you know, fresh from the boutique, brand new. It's not pre-loved. You will be the first owner, and I know we'll just have a great, a great time using the pens. And you really can't go wrong with either a Pelican or a Pilot. These are all good quality fountain pens. So Aesthetic Bay was the last booth that I went to before my wallet was complaining about me and my spending. <laughs> so I must admit, I kind of went beyond my intended budget. But I think those were great purchases anyway. And I hope to share them with you in my next video. So I don't really have an outro here. Um, I'm not very good at vlogging. And even if this venue is a place for fountain pen enthusiasts with like-minded people. I'm still an introvert and I'm really very shy about asking people if I can, you know, take a picture with them or vlog. 
but a lesson learned for the next pen show is that I want to spend more time attending the workshops and seminars as well as getting to know people um, I may need to ramp up my communication skills so this is me just doing a quick detour at Louis Vuitton you know just having something um, fixed but actually my SA was also there and she gave me a gift for my daughter and the two echo bags that you saw was the damage done <laughs> from the Manila Pen Show. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope to do better next time. But I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!